All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get uh, proxies, um, different proxies you can try with your automation software, which is Adbot IQ. Now, what I basically recommend is you using these value shocks because this value shocks is actually very, very good IP right so okay it's actually very very good ip so that's why i recommended it right so that's why i actually recommended this value shocks now if you don't like the process because this value shocks you need to extract the ips manually so if you don't like that process you need to look for alternatives now the problem with alternatives is the cost, right? The cost of um, using this kind of IPs. That's just the issue. So if you don't really have enough budget, you won't be able to go for alternatives. So what are alternatives? Alternatives are web share. You can actually try web share, right? so there are actually different type of proxies we have the data center and all that but some data center are actually very good like some have higher quality so for your static residential proxy i will advise you go for static residential then you buy it based on ips right so you can buy like 1000 ip if you have the budget so click on it and click on buy now because Rotating residential is expensive. Now you can still go for shared or you can choose to go for private IPs. It's based on your budget, what you can afford. Private IP means you are the only one that's going to be using it, right? So you can go for that. Then you have the um, amount of um, IPs you can generate here, right? And another thing is when you're buying from these guys, you need to make sure it's uncapped if you want to use it for Astera. If you want to use it for something like Astera, it's better you go for uncapped IPs. So this is going to cost you over $419 in order to get static residential IPs, which are actually very good. Now, you can also use this for YouTube. You can use it for YouTube too because they're stat static, right? They don't change. The IP stay the same. So you're sure that, okay, I can drive 500 views to every single video, right? But when you're dealing with Astera, we are actually going to put a feature in the bot that's going to let you to clear the cache, like the history. The the it's going to clear the history because when you're dealing with Astera, we don't use Gmail accounts. We don't actually use Gmail accounts because they they cannot track if you're using Gmail account or not. So they don't they don't track it. So you can use something like this. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the bot the feature feature to clear the cookies and catch it after driving the view. So when you drive the views again, it's going to come in as a new uh, personality. Like you just put in, although they track based on IPs though, but still you'll be able to generate enough, right? You'll be able to generate enough. So if you have the budget, you can go for as much IPs as possible, right? You can go for 1000 IPs. If you have the budget but this will actually do fine for people that are doing youtube um automation they will actually do fine with this so it based on your budget now for the country you can pick europe you can pick germany or you can pick all these these are the best you can pick italy france then you can just pick all the country or you do you understand you can pick it at random if you want only us put the percentage so if you say you want um put the number sorry so if you say you want 1000 us ips that means all you get is 1000 do you understand so you can go for um 500 ips i recommend then private is very good but if you want to mix it, like you want to have 400 USA, you want to have 50 Italy, you want to have 
50 Germany, you can do that. So then you pay. That's how you get it. So how do you extract the IPs? Let me just show you some proxy list I have here. It's very easy to extract the IP using this strategy. It's actually very easy. All you need to do, this is the IP. This is port. This is username, password. So you arrange it, username, password, direct connection, IP, port, username, then password, right? So um, that's just it. So all you need to do is to click on download. Then you'll be able to download the IPs. You can see, download proxy. So if I come here now and open the proxy, you can see IP port username password. So you just upload it on the bot and it will work. That is the fun part of using this strategy. Do you get, you just upload it on the bot and it's gonna work. Do you understand? So you just upload it and it's gonna work. So that's that about that. So another one you can check is Decodo. Decodo. So this one for here, we're going to be going for data center because that's the cheapest. The residential is super expensive for all these kind of platforms. So you need to make sure you have a very good budget. So you click on data center and click on pay per IP. Or if you have enough budget, go for dedicated IPs. Dedicated IPs, you can go for 500. Then they allow you to pick the country. So um, their own is uncapped high bandwidth so is it doesn't have any bandwidth it's uncapped so you're good right so that's the price it will cost you here price per ip for dedicated but if you want to go for um shared ip like sharing with people you need to buy the capping right so if you cap it at um it will just look like the other one there so let's say you want yeah, so you can see you want five 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 hundred IPs, right? Make sure you you pick unlimited. So it means you're going to share the IPs with others. So if you are going for that, you can actually buy this. You can afford one thousand IP and zero point zero zero three, which is very very good. And you make sure the traffic is unlimited, so it doesn't burn then you cannot pick the country. So you can say you want random or you want USA, you want everything to be USA. So it is cheaper here, data center is cheap, but the problem with data center is sometimes it might not load ads. So in order to be sure, you need to try it, right? You need to test it. So you can test it with 100 IPs and just buy 50 gigabytes, $3. So buy this first and test it. So if the bot is able to um, load your Astera using this uh, proxy, which is this data center proxy, then you can now buy more, right? You can now say, okay, you wanna buy paper IP, you wanna buy uh, 2000 IPs, you wanna buy unlimited 2000 IPs. It's even still cheap, 224 USD. Only if it loads it, but if it doesn't, don't use it. But if it loads it, then that's, that's good. Make sure you buy unlimited bandwidth and you can buy up to 4,000 IPs even if you have the budget. You see in the other place, because but just know that the difference between this and this is this is residential IP, which is very better than data center. But because of cost, if you know you can buy few amount of IPs and you are able to load, then you can buy Decodo. Decodo is good. But if you are on a higher budget, you can go for, you know, mobile proxy, but it's super expensive. You can see $2,000. So, so these are the proxies you can try. If you are doing more of um, YouTube, you can come and buy static residential IPs. But we are doing more of Astera loading and all that other websites, you do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the feature for the board to clear the cookies and history it will be optional your choice if you want it so i'm going to do that and push out the update today so that's how you get better ips right that's how you get better ips that's how you get better ips so now for the rdp the views you drive it just depend on the uh ports um the um the browser your your 
um, your RDP can take. So if it can take just uh, 15 browser, right? And it's spending 30 seconds. So you just need to do the math. Okay, spend 30 seconds and I'm able to drive. It's simple. Let's let's just do it together here. All right. Um so so let's just say I'm trying to arrange this so that it can still pick my voice. All right. So let's just say you have like um my bot runs runs on ten threads, right? Per time, and I spend thirty to thirty five seconds per page visit with two page visits many views when I drive in 24 hours so this is it The number of sessions so each thread is going to divide by 65 all right so total session for thread is 13000 session two views uh -huh. so it means in 24 hours you'll be able to drive over 26000 views in 24 hours using um using that specific if if your session is about uh, 30 seconds. If your session is about 30 seconds, 30 to 35 seconds, you'll be driving like 26K views, right? You'll be driving over 26,000 views. So if you want to increase the views to like, to like 50K, it means you need to get more RDP, right? So for example, if this RDP is about, um, Let's do the math. So if the RDP you are using to drive the amount of views is about 16 GB, right? No, let's say, sorry, 16 GB. Let's say you are using um, 64 gigabytes of, of RAM to drive this amount of views, right? So if you're using 64 gigabytes of RAM, and you want to drive more it means you're gonna have more of this like you're gonna duplicate this rdp so for you to be able to drive over 50k views in a day it simply means you need this times two yes so times two so you need 128 gigabytes in order to be driving 50,000 um, daily views right so if your cpm is just um one dollar it means you'll make like fifty dollars every single day right so if you do the math if you're making fifty dollar per day in 30 days what you end up making is over one thousand five hundred dollars now this is because they are the cpm they are giving you is very small actually if your cpm was about um ten dollar cpm times 26 you are supposed to be making $260 every day if your CPM is $10, but because your CPM is low. So I will advise you focus more on, if you're doing Astera, you focus more on social bar. You focus more on social bar because it gives you a, it gives you this kind of stability in your RPM. Then you'll be able to get um, results with it. Like if there's going to be an optimization also, Target United States more than UK. Target United States than UK, right? So that's basically how you set up uh, proxies. These are other proxies you can consider using for your automation. Yeah, thank you.